morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to what is quite a uh, ad hoc one today. Uh, yeah, I know, I know I said I probably wasn't going to upload anything for a while, but um, I got bored sitting on my ass in the new house. So it's like, you know what, stuff it. I'll come watch some football. So it's Latix against uh, AFC Wimbledon. It's a wee bit windy. It's a bit hecking windy. It's going to be a bit fun, but hey, whatever. I might not get as much footage as before because I'm going to try and preserve the battery a bit more than I used to do because I've now got two bus rides to go through, not just a quick walk home because I'm now over the other side of town. So that's. Um, different. Those of you who are wondering on the rugby side of stuff, I will get to a game whenever I've got the money and I've got the chance to. Those ones are probably going to be uh, more like your yeah, weekend games where it's like a public holiday or whatever and those are on the daytime. Those will probably be more of that I'm doing. The night games, I'll have to sort those out. One of the things is I need the freaking money. I'm still waiting on a couple of jobs yet so uh, we'll just have to wait on that one. As for other uh, vlogs and stuff that will be coming along, those will come along in a day future. Mostly a Blackpool one, probably somewhere around like April, May-ish. So I usually do those ones, don't I guys? Bit of coaster nut madness, but hey, whatever. I'll be doing those. Back in my usual stand as usual. Rather than the south stand like I was, um, as I was uh, watching rugby. But this is going to be an interesting one, because Latix is still second and pushing on to try to maintain automatic promotion, especially after the uh, humbling that we got from Sunderland. It wasn't exactly a brilliant one and the other night as well, where there was a bit of uh, rugby going on within the football, so I'll, um, I'll say a bit less about that. As for everything else, I might as well just include this in the beginning anyway. Uh, last so a week yesterday, I officially started the hormone therapy, so uh, yay for that. I was supposed to have done a uh, catch up about that one, but um, the file that I created for that one corrupted. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't record that one. I might do uh, a bit of a ram random ramble catch up maybe next week or a week later, I don't know. Depends on whenever I get some free time, especially with all the uh, job search that I'm smashing out right now and all the interviews that I've got to do. So I will catch up. With that one with you at a later date as to be determined that the uh you know well tdc to be confirmed when uh, any of that news comes up but you know hey it's all good it's all good uh as for wimbledon rolling it back a minute for wimbledon they are lower end of the table i think off the top of my head i think they're one of the bottom five or six maybe even seven or eight teams they are in the bottom lower end of the table anyway. Oh, that's all I know about Wimbledon. Sorry, I know, I'm supposed to know a bit more, but I don't. Because as I said at the beginning, this is ad hoc. I am not doing this one off a script. Then again, is ever my shit ever scripted anyway? No. But you know what? I don't care. You guys don't care either. Anyway, this is going to be a walk on. I don't know how many people there's going to be in here, but I know the other day against uh, Sunderland it was. Uh, rowdy. I wish I could have been there but I couldn't have been. I had uh, more important things to do like finishing moving house and other stuff like that. Unfortunately. Anyway I'm going to put this one in here before I put any other footage in. If you have any comments to say, if you have anything about any presentation styles, if you've got anything else that you want to add in, stick it all down below and as always slide tackle that subscribe button, smash that like. You know what? Those ones always help. Likes will help everyone, you can share the shit out of this anyway. Literally, shit. Uh, you can't see it, but I can, because there's a horse right there. But hey ho, let's get inside. <laughs> 20 minutes to go. I predict what? My prediction's probably about what? Seven or eight thousand will be in here by the end. Just well, got a quick gap in everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, my prediction probably going to be well, the same as what it was last time then, but it was a reverse when we were hosted. I'm going to say 2 0. It's either going to be Keane or Humphreys to get the score. I think unless, basically, unless the Jets have been late. I think it's just going to be a one or a two. I'm hoping for a two. To be honest, I'm hoping for a bit of a goal fest. But I don't want to put a jinx on anything. Just because, just because whatever can happen can happen. Yeah, they might be lower in the league than us, but still, they could easily embarrass us if we just take the foot off the gas too much. So, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but, hey, that is that. <laughs> Not even too bad. I think you probably bought a <laughs> seven, eight, or nine thousand in here as well before kick off. I think you never know. Then again, seeing where I'm sitting with everyone else above me, you never know what what it could actually be. But hey, I think our average is somewhere around nine thousand at home, so it's not too bad. I know there is obviously going to be the games against like places like Sunderland and Bolton that will pop the. Tendencies up into the teens and over into the twenties, but still, you never know. But hopefully, it's a good game, and hopefully, it's one can get away with. <coughs> and I don't go too much because this is already within my throat. And yes, I know, I've had a few messages from the Yanks, but technically is an NFL man. Yeah. Hey, and I always shout on Keenan for that one. First Dora. Said that one in Comzo. Yeah. Hey. Giving it away a few times as well while we've been on there. A little bit of stuff. Glen Ray's gone off, injured. Possibly his knee or his ankle. I'm not quite sure. I think, I think he went down earlier. But he's not doing too bad at the moment. Still a bit back and forth. Wimbledon technically had a bit of a breakaway, but we pegged him. Pegged him back just to hold it. And now we get the lead. And he's going to hold on to the lead. Maybe like those Jets put some more in. We never know. To be honest, I don't know if it's going to be kind of like, you know, slam, slam, slam like it was with young people. You never know. They're right now as well. So now they're in a danger zone. We're now in the danger zone. We're going to make sure. And hold on. We tried to see if they could chip the key from quite a bit cute with the shot missed. So that's what you get. No, no, my hair's a mess. I cannot help it. I've tied it back three times, it still gets wet. But after one nil, could have been, could have been two. Could easily be two. There's a couple of like you know chances that had just gone away. One of them where it's just slipped away from the toes. Another one where they've gone for a, a little bit of a cheeky shot round and they should have just buried it. Wimbledon are coming back at us a few times as well. They had a little bit of pressure where they could have pushed it and potted it. They didn't. It's just been consecutive corners as well for about two or three minutes where it was just pressure, pressure, pressure from the corners. It's not looking too good on their defence because they, they had a few moments where uh, I think some of their defenders were starting to scream at each other. Especially because there was a little bit of dissent going between them with a bit of miscommunication. But hey, the wins are win. Rotherham are winning away as well, which for going for automatic well we're still headed for automatics at the moment, but quite a few to go. To be honest, and then uh, got a couple of other things going on. If it it's not too bad. Wimbledon aren't in the relegation zones yet. I think they're still two points clear of it. So for them on their side of it, it's not too too bad in that respect. But I know I could see that their manager was trying to cheer them up to get them to be a bit more direct and stop trying to play off just a kind of like a, a scrap instead. So they were doing that. I know um, Liam was trying to see if we could um, 
split it down the wings as well with the you know, direction of how he was uh, orchestrating things. Not looking too, not looking too bad for us. And again, got to try not to take the foot off the gas. We've got to try to keep hold of it. I think my prediction for you know people in here, um, which I'll put because I did a little video for someone else. Um, I said about probably what about nine thousand. Probably ranging to about the nine thousand ish, maybe ten thousand are in the stadium. Not a bad turnout from the Wimbledon lot, and I know they've got to come from London, so not bad, not bad on their end. Making quite a bit of noise. Um, yes, it is freaking cold though. That's the only thing. It is bloody cold. But hey, you never know. Anyway, see you all in the second half. Well, come away with the one 0 win. Yeesh. I was getting a bit tasty at the end. That was getting tasty at the end. There's a few meaty tackles going in from all sides, to be honest. Yes, my throat is knackered because for some reason I swallowed and it ended up backfiring and I busted myself. Not really, I can still speak, but whatever. Just a bit easier speaking like that sometimes. But really could or should have been two or three. But you never know. Did look like we were going to like, throw it away towards the end, especially with some of the antics that were going on. I ain't going to get into much detail, but the um, officiating crew might, may or may not have bottled something. So, there were a few decisions that could have gone either way and went, uh, and went their way and didn't go ours, but whatever. Uh, good. And one bit of good news on that front, though, is Rotherham lost. Because Dons, because I think Dons is the next one up. A bit weird because you've got both technically Wimbledon teams. Because MK Dons is what was the original Wimbledon. So, you know, they're where they are, we're where we are. Either way, it don't matter. But, hey, it's all part of the fun. But we're still second. No, four points. I think it's four points to the the top after a one niller I think one of the lads has gone off with a possible dislocated shoulder or something so that's going to be uh, fun to get fixed but hey you never know which way it's all going to go from here on in now uh, the next game I think for Wigan is possibly I think it's the uh, cup game the semi-final which I don't know I haven't really checked the, the calendar because I was originally looking to do that one whilst I lived up this way but not now because I can't do night games anymore but hey for all the fun of it all the fun that you put yourself through yeah well anyone who was in there stick your views down below stick your uh, what was your predictions Whatever you thought of the game, especially with some of those tasty ones, if you had a better angle than I did, sitting right on the front. Some of you might have been able to see the field a bit better than I could. I know, really I should be further up like in Homley Anthem Rugby. Probably will be next time I try. But, whatever. Anyway, that's me signing out. Peace!